again, and I have been a vegan for two years now. I'm always on the lookout for great, delicious, exciting vegan recipes that are actually also easy to make. Um, this particular recipe I made up myself, and it is wheat-free, gluten-free, nut-free, vegan banana blueberry pancakes. They're totally delicious and really easy to make. So please join me and I'll show you how to make them. And here's ingredients. Flax milk, flaxseed meal, oatmeal, chia seed, bananas and blueberries, earth balance butter spread, a lemon, and maple syrup. Well first you combine your dry ingredients. So I'm combining oatmeal, I'd say about a cup a person maybe a little bit more. We're having three people today. So then a couple tablespoons at least of chia seed. Same thing with flax seed. I would say, you know, about a tablespoon each per person. I also like to add as a secret ingredient, just a little bit of cardamom powder. I usually use half to a full teaspoon. A teaspoon of baking powder, a little bit of salt, and then blend to make a fine flour in your Nutribullet. And you take that, put it in a mixing bowl. And then you take your flax milk. I use about three quarters of a cup per person. And then you add two bananas, a whole lemon, plus sometimes I use vanilla. Put that all into your Nutribullet and blend away. So once all your wet ingredients are blended, you then take that and you add it to your dry ingredients in the bowl. And then with the big spoon, slowly combine all of these ingredients together. You'll know it's all combined when it reaches a consistency that looks a bit like this. And then you add your blueberries. I always take care to fold them into the mixture. Okay, so I put my burner on to about medium high. And then I wait for the pan to get just a little bit warm, and then that's when I put in my earth balance spread. I use about a tablespoon or more. And I move that around until it covers the pan. And now it's ready for the batter. I take my big spoon, get a fairly large sized dollop or two, and drop it in. Now if you're working with a frying pan, as I am, I tend to do about three at a time, but you can also do this on a griddle. So we have them all in the pan, sizzling away. I usually let them cook around seven minutes, maybe 10 on one side before I turn them over. I'm careful to get my spatula right the way underneath each pancake and then after I turn them over, I carefully flatten them down. Once I've turned all of them over, I leave them to cook again for another five to seven minutes. Turn it one more time just for good measure. So, just to make sure it's all completely cooked on both sides. There's one. I think they're nearly done. If they're not overly squishy, just 
still could need maybe a few more minutes. I'm gonna turn it again so it doesn't, don't worry if the blueberries fall out, you just push them back in. Okay, so look, they're ready now. See how it's kind of a little bit harder? Yeah, blueberries are all melted. So we are ready to eat. Here we go. Hope you're hungry. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy them. If you like this video and would like to see more recipes, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.